All right, hello, hello, hello. I'm alive. <laughs> we live in chat, we live in. So, uh, yeah, I got into a car accident Monday night. Um, and basically what happened was, yeah, the Twitter thing I don't think even does it justice, right? So, I, I'm driving back home, right? I'm on the highway and there are three lanes the left and the middle lane are coned off because they're paving the left lane so the right lane is for traffic i'm driving down the right lane and it's a work zone and i see the people right so i'm not speeding or anything like that uh you know because that's just that's too dangerous and this big ass dump truck just pulls out right in front of me and i just did not have enough time or space to stop the car and not get you know and not hit the the dude um but i do think that because i play video games and all this kind of stuff that i had the reaction time in order to swerve to the right even though I couldn't stop in time. And and in doing so, I prevented a head-on collision one, which against the dump truck, I, my car would have been pancaked, honestly. Um, but that, that caused the left mirror to get like all contorted and shit. I was then grinding in between the truck and the railing on the side of the highway. And the uh obviously they're scratching on both sides of the car right but there's gonna the front right passenger wheel was also just completely fucked like the best way i could describe it is like you ever push a shopping cart and uh yeah it loses the dump truck matchup dog H hardcore hardcore yeah uh but like you ever push a shopping cart and just kind of like always drifts to the right like that's that's exactly what happened to my car afterward like it was like something was really fucking wrong it's not supposed to happen so at the direction of of the construction workers right they get me over into the middle lane and i'm just chilling there and what makes this like even worse is like i only had like intermittent service Cause we're out in the middle of the fucking highway, just somewhere. You know what I mean? Uh, so they take down like information. They take a whole bunch of photos and stuff like that. Cause they need to file their own incident report. Right. Um, they call the cops, right? So God, it had to have been, it had to have been like at least 20 minutes before the state troopers show up. Right. And they come over and I, I explain to them what happened, you know, and everything. They ask for my license and registration, right? So I I told them before I reach for anything where I was going to go, right? Because it's dark. It's dark in the car. I do not want to get shot after a car accident. <laughs> I don't want that. So, like, I tell them where I'm going. You know, there was two of them, right? So they put a flashlight. They see where I'm going first. You know, they, and then I go, go for what I need to do. So I've told them my pocket for my wallet. I then tell them uh, glove compartment for the, li or not the license, but the, for the registration and the insurance, right? So I get these two things and I don't get shot. Major W, okay? Major fucking W right there. I give them the information and they go to their car. Uh, so a detail I also forgot to mention is that I had my camera up on the car mount. So I recorded all of my interaction with the police. Obviously, streamer records things, you know. I'm not going to show you guys any of that footage, but I have it in case I need it, right? So they're in the car for like 17 minutes. They're like running information and all this shit. And I'm like, what the fuck are they doing in there that's taking so long? Like that like kind of freaked me out. Yeah, yeah. So like... They, it took them a long time. I don't know what it was that they were doing, but I eventually come back and like they're convinced that like 
you know, I'm actually like the victim, I guess. But here's the problem I and I didn't mention this earlier, right? But that dump truck who hit me, he didn't stop. That fucker drove off. He's gone. Right? So I it's not like I had his insurance to give to the police. You know what I mean? Like they took down my info and and all that, but they didn't have his insurance. Now the good news is is that uh there's a limited number of people who actually get to work on the highway, right? It's either the Department of Transportation or a subcontractor of the Department of Transportation. You know what I mean? There had to be records of all the people who were there, you know, or any of that kind of shit. Because the person who was driving that dump truck was an employee working on the highway. You know what I mean? So I feel good that they are going to hopefully find whoever the fuck did this, right? So... Eventually, eventually, uh, they call the tow truck and, or I guess the, t not that they called the tow truck, but the tow truck like gets there. Right. And maybe that's what the police are waiting for. Honestly, um, the tow truck gets there and, uh, it's at that point that I'm instructed by the state police to get out of my vehicle. And I was told to bring whatever was on my person and important documents. So that like registration and insurance, right? Um, I always keep like 25 bucks in the car, like just in case, right? So that came with, and I took a phone charger. Okay. So pro tip, keep a phone charger in your car. That was actually so important to have uh, because I needed it. So they bring me to a gas station. That's actually like a few miles North. So I'm like, 30 minutes or so from home and at this point it's like three something in the morning like late in the morning like easily 3 30 or something like that i didn't have my watch uh but i obviously have my phone um i tried to call an uber i tried to call an uber for or lyft and i was not able to get one for two hours for two hours so I'm just like fucking chilling there, right? It's starting to get close to like six in the morning. Um, now, as it would turn out, right, Uber and Lyft, they have these um, like internal MMR ratings, right? Like they have their own GSP and I have very bad GSP with them because uh, I don't I don't need to Uber, right? I, I would just drive. So because I was an unknown, there were people that did not want to, they just didn't want to take the order. So shout outs to Syrah, someone who also goes to the local smash scene and all that. She calls an Uber and someone's there in like seven minutes. It was really fucking fast. And I was like, holy shit. I finally get home. But well, actually even before that, right? I get in this guy's car and on the way back, I could actually see the burnt rubber from my car where the accident took place and all that shit. And I was like, holy fuck. You know, like, I tried, man. I really did. And because we're in the car, right? I wasn't able to really take a good photo of that or anything. But, yeah, I marked the highway. And um, so, yeah, then I finally get home. You know, like, I let people know that, like, I'm okay. <laughs> Uh, and I went to sleep for like four hours and that's when like I called insurance and whatever today I was able to get a rental car, but by the time I got the rental car and I came home and everything after that, um, the tow yard is closed. So I have to go actually tomorrow morning now to finally get everything else out of my car. Um, and the rental car is, is really strange. It doesn't like accelerate in the same way. And I don't know how to open the back, like the trunk. I don't know how to fucking open it. And, and like, you'd think, oh, well, there's something on the key fob. Nope, there's not. You'd think there'd be a button near like the wheel. I, I can't seem to find it. Like, I, I don't know, man. I've never felt so dumb, like operating a car before in my life. I just, I actually don't know how to open the back. So, <laughs> 
so yeah now that all of that has been said right this is my journey of everything that i've had to go through so far and again the most important part is like i'm alive genuinely if i had any worse reaction time i'm seriously hurt or killed you know like it uh it really puts things into perspective. You know what I mean? Like, you know, some things are. It just puts what's in perspective of what's important. That's the best way I can I can explain things. So, uh, you know, happy to be here. Looking to have some fun tonight. And uh, yeah.